Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Pisces for the mid-month of November 2020. I'm calling these my mid-month minis, so there's only going to be a couple of cards just to give you an idea and a heads up of what's happening for the rest of the month, okay? So you can go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like this idea of our mid-month uh, minis. I'm, I'm like, can't get those words out. <laughs> I got to get used to it. All right, let's see what we have going on for you here. Also, I have a few spots left. We're going to have to confirm that. Let's see. I have a few spots left in my From Pain to Power mentorship. So if you're interested um, in finding out how to kind of learn more about that, you can wait till the end of the video and I'll tell you all about it, okay? But for now, let's get started. We've got the King of Swords here as the overall energy. So this to me is really about the rest of this month, you have to put firm boundaries in place. Um, people around you might be trying to talk to you, might be spreading negativity, um, might be harassing you. Uh, remember, these are general, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But King of Swords to me is really about putting firm boundaries in place. Now we've got the Nine of Pentacles here, the Ten of Wands, and the Death card. And I feel as though, for some of you, this is definitely a breakup. And this might be with like a narcissistic type of person where they keep trying to come back and come back. But to me, it's like you've been carrying this burden and you've wanted this for a really long time. So with the death card, this is, you know, it's like a transformation and the ten of wands. So this is two endings here with the nine of pentacles, which is my single card. So definitely feel like there could be a breakup here. Um, again, it doesn't just have to be romantic. It can be friendships. It could be work. It could be co co-workers. Um, but there's definitely someone that has put firm boundaries in place. And if this is you, I feel as though you need to put firm boundaries in place because the person that you've left behind might be overstepping and might be trying to cross your boundaries because they miss you, they want you. And again, especially narcissists, they will definitely, you know, um, hoover you, they will keep coming around, they will try to manipulate you and persuade you. Tell, tell you that they're going to change, but you really, really have to kind of stand your ground here because I feel as though if you do that and you let this go, you've got the nine of swords. And in this deck, to me, it's about finally being able to sleep again. So definitely set those boundaries. And um, I feel as though everything that you wanted when you ended this is going to come into play, but you need to set the boundaries especially with narcissists, because if they think that there's a little bit of a leeway or a little bit of a way into you or a way to get you back, they're going to keep trying and keep pushing. So you really have to set firm boundaries here. We're going to go pull a little shocker card here, see what shocker we need to work on this for the rest of the month. Guilt. Ooh, I love that. goes right along with this reading. So do not feel guilty for leaving people behind. Do not feel guilty for letting go. And look at this, orange, 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 orange. <laughs> this is your sacral chakra. So this is really down by your abdomen. This is about um, trauma, but it's all about joy too. And you can't have the joy until you heal the trauma. So let go of the guilt. And you know this goes back to my mentorship where you've got to ask yourself, where does this guilt come from? So really important this for the rest of this month is to let go of the burden you've been carrying. Some of this burden could be the guilt of feeling bad about leaving this person. So definitely realize that it's okay to choose you, even if it hurts somebody else in the, in the meanwhile, right? Because you are actually doing both of you a favor by not playing this, this role or not doing this dance when you don't really want to be doing it. You're not doing the other person any kind of favors by doing that. So stand your ground, you know, create and enforce your boundaries and let them know that you are completely serious about ending this and let go of any guilt that you have around it. Because when you do that, you're going to be able to sleep at night. All right, so I hope that resonates with you. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you um, resonate with that. And then also, if you are interested in learning more about my From Pain to Power mentorship, it's an eight-week deep healing program that I bring women through after toxic relationships to really heal your childhood, transform your limiting beliefs that keeps attracting these types of relationships into your life, um, builds your confidence, releases the energy from the past, and really allows you to take your power back in your life and stop settling for people 
that are not good for you. All right, you can find out if you're a good fit for that in the description box or in the comments below. Um, and I guess I, I'll guess I, I can't even speak tonight. I guess I will see you guys next month. All right, but stand your ground. So important right now, else they will weasel their way back in. So don't forget that and let go of any kind of guilt. It's okay for you to choose you. It does not make you a bad person. I'll see you guys much love. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.